Hi everyone, today's video recap will be one of the most trending, American mental drama movie film of 2022, it is, The Wonder. The film was directed by Sebastian Lelio from a scenario by Emma Donahue, Lelio, and Alice Birch. The film follows an English medical caretaker shipped off an Irish town to examine a little kid who is apparently ready to survive without eating. Now let's begin to dive into the plot and enjoy watching, likes and subscriptions are highly appreciated. Set in 1862 Ireland, the wonder follows medical caretaker Lib Wright as she enters a town to examine a young lady named Anna, who has quit eating throughout the previous four months and is obviously doing fine. A committee brimming with men, Dr. McBreerty, Sir Otway, Father Thaddeus, John Flynn, and Sean Ryan, put Lib and Sister Michael on eight-hour movements to perceive how Anna is really doing this. Lib and Michael shouldn't converse with one another about their derivation so their last audit of the circumstance can be pretty much as uninfluenced as could really be expected. Lib's watch starts on a common note as she latently archives all that she sees about Anna. Yet, her folks' vicinity to her and the continuous meetings with guests, rolling in from all over to see her and give to the reason, make Lib dubious. In this way, she puts a respite on Anna's gatherings with her folks and irregular individuals assuming some pretense of getting a legitimate perusing. What's more, that is precisely when things begin to go downhill. Very quickly after Lib isolates Anna from her family, one of her teeth drops out. Lib tells her folks, Rosaline and Malachi, that Anna needs to eat on the grounds that she is getting more fragile, paler, and tired. While Rosaline says that she was fine until Lib mediated, Malachi says that he can't break the commitment of never requesting that Anna eat at Lib's solicitation. During one of her watches, out of sheer disappointment, Lib attempts to embed a taking care of cylinder down Anna's throat and recharge her solidarity. Yet, Lib eases off after seeing Anna's anguish and even apologizes to her for attempting to misleadingly take care of her, particularly when she's dead set on not doing as such. Her hounded assurance before long ends up being deadly, as while taking a stroll with Lib and Will, Lib's old flame and a columnist, she drops. Upon assessment, it seems like her lungs have given out, thereby prompting her steady hacking. All through the film, Anna implies her strict tendencies, alongside the way that the O'Donnell's whole house is loaded up with images and pictures inseparable from Christianity. Then we get the data that Rosaline and Malachi's child, Pat, had died. At the point when that is combined with the disclosure that Anna keeps a lock of her brother's hair stowed away in the bust of St. Mary, it prompts the supposition that Anna's quick has something to do with grieving her brother's demise. While discussing Lib's past, where she dealt with wiped out fighters who had done terrible things at war, Anna momentarily specifies that, in limbo, spirits are caused to copy forever. At the point when Lib says that Pat is certainly in paradise, Anna answers that nobody can express so without a doubt. Thus, Lib gathers two and two into a single unit and pushes Anna to admit. She discovers that Anna was in a perverted marriage with Pat, during which he fell wiped out and kicked the bucket. Rosaline faults Anna for his demise and causes her to do this entire custom to liberate Pat's spirit from damnation and send him to paradise. Ireland's Punishment of Incest Act 1908 states that inbreeding is a culpable offense, regardless of whether it is consensual in nature. That implies the act of getting into a close connection with one's relative was genuinely normal up until 1908. If that makes you have any desire to hurl, kindly go ahead and do as such. In the event that not, my god, have yourself looked at. Coming to the wonder, obviously Pat and Anna's relationship occurred with Rosaline and Malachi's endowments. They continue to say that Lib is from Britain and, thus, she can't comprehend the O'Donnells, which basically implies that Lib is too present day to be in any way tolerating of interbreeding. Furthermore, Rosaline is obviously utilizing religion to program Anna into feeling that she's accomplishing something exemplary while keeping her sustained by biting food and spitting into her mouth during their goodnight kiss like a bird, thus, the bird caught in an enclosure moral story. As an afterthought, they are bringing in cash off of Anna's enduring on the grounds that, as referenced previously, it was moving during that time. As it were, that makes Rosaline a force to be reckoned with, the sort that takes advantage of their family to get brand supports. 
It's basic to make reference to right now that Lib had a child who lived for a considerable length of time and two days, and her significant other deserted her not long after that. She conveys a couple of the youngsters' boots and plays out this custom, where she drinks a narcotic and plays with them of some sort. This basically shows that she is in steady agony because of the deficiency of her youngster, and her vicinity to Anna reignites her motherly impulses. That is when, in any event, when she's told to notice, she makes it her assignment to keep her protected and solid. At her most vulnerable point, she even asks Rosaline to proceed with her bird-like course of taking care of Anna just so she can live. At the point when that doesn't work, Lib plays out a second layer of indoctrinating to persuade Anna that she will kick the bucket in resurrection as Nan, the moniker that Anna and Lib settled on before. When Anna concurs, Lib takes off with her and orders a custom where she becomes oblivious for a couple of moments as Anna and recaptures cognizance as Nan. Lib then goes to the O'Donnell family to consume everything, even her own container of soothing and the sets of child boots. She gets singed all the while. Be that as it may, it basically crushes her recollections of her past, as well as Anna's. Fire is typically viewed as an image of edification, cleaning, obliteration, and torment. In Christianity, fire has been signified as the apparatus for torture and discipline for one's wrongdoings, as well as the characteristic of God's presence. Lib even makes it look like a demonstration of God by saying that she incidentally took over the light subsequent to figuring out that Anna had kicked the bucket and unintentionally burned her up. In this way, as it were, she utilizes the well-known understanding of fire to conceal the way that she has whisked her away to somewhere safe with Will's assistance. While the O'Donnells and the remainder of the town grieve Anna's passing, we see the young lady in London living with Lib and Will as their took on kid, Nan, and eating food too. Does she have any memory of this horrible accident? All things considered, I have to take a hard pass. She most likely stifled it or recalled that it is a horrendous bad dream. Presently, what's happening with the fourth wall breaks and set within a set shenanigans. During the opening, we see a film set in which the film The Wonder is being shot. The storyteller outlines it as a story that we should put stock in, very much like the characters in the film have faith in their accounts. At around the 25-minute imprint, it's uncovered that the storyteller is really Kitty O'Donnell, and she advises us that we aren't anything without stories. While enlisting her name, Nan or Anna gazes directly into the camera, thereby breaking the fourth wall and indicating that she realizes that we are watching her story unfurl. What's more, during the closing snapshots of the film, we see the camera uncover that the last eating scene is a film set, and Kitty is remaining there, in present-day clothing, and expressing the expression in, out, in, out. Thus, to the extent that my allowance abilities go, the wonder is basically saying that these accounts of the liberation of young ladies under different types of persecution are conceivable just in fictitious movies. In reality, things are substantially more perplexing. Notwithstanding, we can gain from these accounts, stand alongside ladies who are in confines, strict or figurative, and work with their delivery, regardless of whether that implies reusing the very apparatuses and techniques that the framework utilizes for misuse. Thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the film. Don't forget to like the videos and subscribe to my channel for more videos and updates.